Tonight, town leaders will talk evacuation upgrades. Action News Now reporter Danny Mastin is live on the bridge. Danny, what potential changes are on the table? There are a lot of different changes in the works, Haley. Now, I'm here on Edgewood Lane. This road leads to a dead end. The town is hoping to take this road and connect it to other roads in the area to provide a more sufficient evacuation route. The moment for me was looking out the car and seeing flames on the side and having my two little boys in the back seat and thinking like, am I going to have to listen to my children scream to death in the fire? Cassie Davis remembers the day when the campfire broke out like it was yesterday. She says trying to get out of the town of Paradise was one of the scariest parts. I was coming down Skyway from the top of Paradise. So um, every cross street between the top of Paradise and Chico, there was cars going before me and so I'm watching the green light and we're stuck. We can't go through it. The town of Paradise is working to resolve this problem in the event another fire breaks out in the town. Move forward through the project development process which would connect South Libby, Sawmill, Edgewood um, all the way over to Pence Road which would have been a really tangible uh, response to the 2018 campfire which would be and um, provide additional circulation, connect those long dead end streets. I think that would be a great idea. Um, I was listening to the scanner on the day of the campfire and there was tons of people that were trapped on Edgewood. Um, the helicopters couldn't get to them. I'm here on Pence Road and this is one of the roads that many people were stuck on for hours when trying to evacuate during the campfire. You can see just how narrow this road is. The town is hoping to make changes to this road as well by widening it and adding an extra turn lane. The narrow roads that we have up here, they had firefighters coming up the lanes, which made it even harder for the one lane that we had to get out. The town will be seeking community input at a meeting that will take place tonight at Town Hall at 6 p.m. Live in Paradise, Danny Mastin, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Thanks, Danny. That meeting will also be live streamed online. If you'd like to access a link, go to our website, actionnewsnow.com links. New details today.